So I've been having some random problems the last month or so. The truck's throwing codes going down the road, comes up with low NOx conversion efficiency and poor DEF quality. I get my DEF from two places, I've never had a problem with it. Um, it'll do that kind of by default. But uh, what I wound up doing is I, I wanted to start attacking it. This one box is about three years old, right? So it's not that old, but they moved a lot of the components over onto it. The first thing I did is I went in here and this is the doser nozzle. They also call it the seventh injector. It's this guy right here. Uh, you put a 14 millimeter on the, the fuel nut and a 12 millimeter to hold it, pop the fuel line off, it threads out. It's similar to a nozzle on an oil burner, right? And it was full of carbon, so we took a brass wire brush and cleaned it off and then put some brake clean and blew through it and got a nice good spray pattern, put it back. Some of the problems went away, she was behaving for a little bit. And I still get the codes every once in a while, so the second thing that I decided to do before I go to a dealership and spend way too much money is clean up the DEF injection nozzle, which is this guy right here. And let me stick my magnet up here. Um, this injects the DEF into the one box, and a lot of people say it can build up. It was kind of interesting, and I wish I had caught it before I did this. This hole right here was caked and was full of stuff like dried up DEF and everything, and all there was is a pinhole going through it. And this is another injection nozzle. So how I'm gonna clean this, it's basically water soluble. I'm gonna take hot water and just wipe it down, rinse it off, wipe it down, rinse it off. I'm gonna clean this up. There's a new gasket and new bolts I got for it. Put everything back together and run it. Uh, see what happens. I mean, no components have failed. I don't have any code showing the component failure. This pump's working fine. I just think it was gunked up and not spraying right. So time will tell. I mean, I'd rather run it and try. I mean, the truck's not going in the D-rate or nothing. I'm not having huge problems with it. But uh, this step support has to come out to be able to do all this and get that injection pump out of there. Um, I just kind of wanted to point that out. It takes it's four bolts, hold it. Uh, you take a 19 millimeter socket. I tend to use a 3 8 drive ratchet because it gave me enough power to get them out of there without snapping them. You got to be real super careful about this. I'll, I'll never see stuff. So I got everything cleaned up, knocked all the gunk out of this, this port, cleaned the nozzle service. I used hot water on it and I kind of had to scrape some of the calcified stuff off the gasket area. When you, when you go to do this, go to the dealership and get yourself a mounting gasket and bolt kit. It's that part number. It's a Mercedes part. Um, comes with a little metal gasket that sits right on that housing and three bolts. They take a T8 Torx socket on them and uh, the bolts are marked for single use. Don't reuse the bolts. So it's kind of <clears throat> ironic what they use here because the actual injector itself says Cummins Engine Solutions. <laughs> so there you go. Gotta love it. So, and there we are all bolted up. Um, I opted to just take the pump off without unplugging the wiring harness and disconnecting the DF lines. I didn't want to leak urea all over the floor. I left the, uh, the ratchet and the socket on here just to show you that you can access all three bolts kind of around. You can snake around stuff with a, a short extension on it and uh, works pretty good. I really didn't tighten the crap out of them because if it's got to come out again, we don't want to have snap stuff, but it actually was pretty good.